This was from my last shipment. All the way from 606 Columbus Avenue to Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Oh, look, come here. I'm going to show you something. This is all donations that get sent. You have everything from books, clothing at the back there, soccer equipment from us, t shirts. When I see our stuff waiting here for us, our soccer balls, like you just saw in a net bag, t shirts wrapped up in a polythene bag, straight out of our boxes. It's definitely very reassuring um, that they're going to get to exactly where we need them to get to. Three. I need 47 more to go. Yes. You guys going to help? All right. Let's go, guys. Come on. Teamwork. Oh. Yeah. Yes. What do you think? Yes. Does it look good? Yes. He's our model today. Yes. All right, you put that on. That's yours. Yes. Right. Who else? Yes. Let's take medium. You look like a medium, don't you? Yes. Yeah, go on then. Put it on. We're gonna work on your touches. We're gonna work on some dribbling, some passing. Okay, we're gonna work on all those things. Are you guys ready? Yes. If you're ready, I want a big round of applause. So everyone take a soccer ball. <laughs> if you're dribbling like this, what's gonna happen? What happens? Okay, you bump into each other. So I want your head up so you can see the trees, you can see the school, you can see each other. So we're dribbling like this. Where's my head? Good. Lots of movement, very nice. <laughs> we're in the town center of Bubi. We're going to go to see the district authority now and we're going to explain to him that the reason we're here is really just to kind of get into the schools for no other reason other than soccer education. So the idea is the early childhood is motor development. We work on their motor skills and we teach them to love soccer. So like you and me, we love soccer. Okay? But we're not two years old. So the first stage is to get these kids to enjoy what they do. Watch carefully. We take the soccer ball. We're going to go around and then sit down like that. Good. Are you guys ready? So it's like play is our brain's favorite way of learning. Okay, so you teach them to enjoy themselves, they're gonna learn more. It's wonderful, right? It's wonderful. So then the next stage, oh. numbers, oh. counting, one, two, three, Maths. four, with a soccer Mathematics. Ball. Mathematics, exactly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What are you planning to do with the coaches? We're gonna speak to them. Okay. We're gonna run through with the coaches for yeah. a more sustainable project. You know the ball is coming from that direction, what's your posture gonna be like? You're gonna get as far across her as you can, get across her, you're gonna block her with that knee there, See, this is very, very technical, right? You're gonna block that knee across her, yep. What happens if she comes too far into you? Go on too far into him. Go on, kick him, kick him. Yeah, stop, stop. That's a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Key thing is you're then saying, look, we've come the first time, we coached in school. The second time we're coaching coaches, right? From there, how do we make sure that these coaches can be used to demonstrate a successful model, right? 20 players. Yes. And how many soccer balls do they have to share between 20? We've got one. One soccer ball? Yes. The concern is, of course, the equipment, uh, the lack of equipment. So I was very cognizant of that and made sure that the activities were one soccer ball and as many players as possible. What's the objective? Four passes. Four passes, then move it out. The fourth pass is the big pass. Quick switches. One, two, three, and switch. Good! Wow. Nice idea, that. well done! <laughs> Very specific achievable objectives. Is there a high success rate? Yes, yes right? Yes. We had 15 or so coaches from the local areas. Some travelled as many as 40 kilometers, but it was well attended. And we ran through quite a lot of stuff, including passing and receiving, because I think one of the things that we noticed at the tournament the other day was that the kids were just smashing the ball, clearing it long, long, long down the field. I want you to put the ball side to side, side to side. That's how you get comfortable with the ball. And then we can start doing other things. We can step, we can step. Okay. Over there is uh, Victory. He's now implementing some of the things we've worked on in our coach training. 
The next stage, which is what we're really excited about because of some of the age groups that we're going to be working with, seven. stage 7, 10 to 14 year olds, okay? Mm -hmm. So the District Cup, which takes place this week mm -hmm. in your district, mm -hmm. these are the age groups that they're going to be featuring. So we have all the technical development and the tactical know-how so they can compete. Mm -hmm. So you have shooting, receiving the ball, switching the play, to moving one side of the field to the other, mm -hmm. and then, of course, training to win. Not to lose. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not to lose. Not to lose. <laughs> two touch. One touch. Two touch. One touch. Two touch. Play, play, play. One. 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 Good. Ready. One. Two. Good. One. Three. I'm blowing my whistle when the ball goes too high. And they're learning how to pass, keep their shape, and actually see if we can get some proper soccer. Many, many touches, yes? Yes? Can you do that? You want to show me how it's done? Give me five. All right, off you go. You show me. Two feet, two feet, two feet. Yes, yes. Good. Control, yes. Dribble towards our defender. Step over. Cut to the other side. By doing that, it unsettles the defender. Well done. I'm coming in. Oh, well done. Nice drag back there. I like that. It's all about thinking long term. If I watch the game of our kids back home, I'm probably going to see a move every 10 seconds. And they're probably not going to work. The kid's going to fall down. The kid's going to lose the ball. But at least he tried to use the moves. Because next year, when he's faster and stronger and more confident, that move is going to work. His team's going to score a goal. So this is our last day. We're doing a tournament day. So as you can see, we've got 10 teams all color coordinated by age group. So they're gonna play seven minute games and we're gonna rotate on a round robin basis. We've got field one for the younger kids, the five through seven year olds. On the far side, we've got our older kids, the 10 through 12 year olds. <laughs> The level of play has drastically increased because they're not just smashing the ball up the field like they were on the first day when we got here, but making a conscious effort to settle on the ball. We're asking the coaches to reinforce that. This is Melford. He won the award of the most committed, dedicated coach. How did you benefit from the experience? I like how to teach a kid how to angle the ball, to hold the ball. Uh -huh. How to angle kids and uh, how to pass the skill I have from me to the kids. You know, in Zimbabwe, we've been cultured that if you are not a neck and tie kind of job, yep. you are not a learned person. Mm. So we want to change the attitude yeah. that there are people who are doing better in life uh, in sport. They've gone all the way from America. They've come here for you. Impacted all the soccer skills. We are going to remain developing that. We want to support you. You have supported us left, right, centre, and your efforts will not go unnoticed. Thank you very much. I'm glad we're here. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of Skanda Primary, we are so thankful. See you next time. Really appreciate having you. Enjoy the jersey. Enjoy the whistle. Make use of it. <laughs> Just as much as I want